Meet Loopy, a minimalistic enticing RGB LED lamp that can easily fit everywhere in your living space. The unique mystic shape of this lamp will make you lose all sense of time. In this video, we will be guiding you through the steps explaining how to build it on your own. It's very cheap and easy to replicate. Are you interested in doing it yourself? Let's get building. Before getting into the woodworking part, let's set up the electronics required for the project. WS2812B is the LED strip that we are using to build this project. For our purpose, we need around 26 LEDs from the strip. To control the LEDs, we are using the DigiSpark 801085 microcontroller which can be directly plugged into the USB port of the computer and is directly programmable using Arduino IDE. So let's connect DigiSpark to the computer and upload some sample code. For demo purposes, we have written a code consisting of three effects. After uploading the code, unplug DigiSpark and connect the LED strip to the microcontroller as shown in the circuit diagram given in the description. Now turn the power on and see the effects in action. Now let's get into the woodworking part. To build this project, we have used the MDF pieces that were left over from recent projects. To get pleasing diffusion of the light, we need around a 2 cm distance between LEDs and the acrylic channel. So we have chosen 1.8 cm thick MDF pieces as the top layer and a 4 mm thick MDF as the base layer. Now let's stick these two MDF pieces using instant glue and tighten them with a clamp for proper binding. Once the final strength is reached, we remove the clamp and sand off the glue remnants to make the board smooth. Outline the shape on the wood with a pencil, compass and ruler. This would help us to stay on track with our cutting and minimizes chances of errors. Then we started cutting with the jigsaw. For the inside cut, we drill small holes for getting the job done. Finally, we have our wood pieces. The cut is not very accurate, we will adjust it according to the diffusion panel. As the diffusing channel, we are using a 2mm white acrylic sheet. We design an SVG file and coral draw according to the measurements. Then we laser cut the acrylic in a laser cutting shop by giving the SVG file to them. It seems to be super easy. After, we sanded the wooden pieces according to this diffusion panel for making it tight fit. Now it's time to build a stand for this lamp. The stand has to be of considerable length when compared with the upper portion. So we took around 10cm as the length and 4cm as the breadth. All the components can be fitted into this area. We made a hole in the stand for letting the power cable in. Before painting, we assembled the top portion with the stand using some instant glue. Then we drilled a hole connecting the top layer and stand to draw LED connections. After that, we glued the center portion to the acrylic. After sanding and priming, we stained the wood with a light grey color which is giving a clean look for the lamp. Now stick the LED strip to the base layer and take out the connection wires to the hole made in purpose. Fix the top layer in the base using wood screws. Now pass the power cable in to the hole made in the stand. Solder all the connections to the microcontroller and we are ready for the test. If you are interested in replicating this project, please check out the project link which is given in the description. So, see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.